Hi, this very brief video will give a high level overview on the ignition sequence of your outdoor great room company DSI or direct spark ignition burner system. It might be helpful for you to watch two other videos prior to this one. For an understanding of why the DSI system is needed, view the video titled, Why do I need an electronic ignition burner? For a video on setup and installation of your burner, view the video titled Setup and Installation of My Crystal Fire Plus DSi Burner. Both can be found under the Product Support tab at OutdoorRooms.com. It is important to understand the DSi burner system requires electricity to operate. The most common and reliable application is to plug the DSi transformer into a 110 volt circuit making sure to always use a covered junction box, part number CF-DSi-JB. There's also an optional battery power source available, part number CF-DSI-BP. This feature uses two D-cell batteries as shown here. For reliability purposes, it is very important to keep this power source as dry as possible. The battery pack gives you an option to use this burner if there are no options to have 110 volts run to your burner. For increased reliability and convenience, we always recommend the 110 volt installation over the optional battery pack whenever possible. We will be demonstrating the ignition sequence using this DSi demo burner. Your burner may be a different size or shape, but they all function exactly the same way. You can see here that the burner's transformer is plugged into a covered junction box for its source of power. In this case, we also have an on-off switch attached directly to the burner or fire pit. So here is the sequence of what should happen when you turn on your Crystal Fire Plus DSi burner. When your system is initially connected to power, you will hear two beeps from the module. This signifies you have power to the module. When the on-off switch is turned to the on position, you will hear one beep from the module to indicate the module is receiving the command to turn on. Within a couple seconds, you should hear and see the sparker starting to spark between the igniter and the ground as shown here. The igniter will spark for 12 seconds while it waits for gas to enter the burner and ignite. Once the burner ignites, the flame sensor recognizes the flame is present and sends a signal back to the module and valve that everything is functioning properly. And that's it! You're able to enjoy your fire. In the event that a flame is not present, the sparkle will continue to spark for 12 seconds. If it does not sense the flame for 12 continuous seconds, it will automatically go into shutdown mode. You will have to turn the system off and then back on again to reset the module. When lighting the burner for the first time, it's not uncommon to have a buildup of air in the gas line. It may take several cycles to bleed this air from the line so gas can enter the burner and be ignited. Going one step deeper on this sequence, the module and electrode system are constantly interacting with each other. While in operation, the module is constantly receiving a signal to determine if a flame is present. If flame is present, the system will simply stay on. If the flame signal is ever interrupted, the module will begin to spark again to reignite. When the system regains the flame signal, the sparking will stop. The system will shut down if a reignition attempt goes longer than 12 seconds. So that is a sequence of what happens when you start your DSi burner. If your system is not operating in this manner, check out the troubleshooting videos available online under the product support tab at OutdoorRooms.com. Thank you for assuring our products are installed and serviced in a safe and professional manner.